Okay, I'm going to give a short demonstration of some of the capabilities of the um, Protege OWL server and the Protege client. So um, first, um, I'm going to explain these two windows. Um, I want to show the interaction with um, when two different users um, are interacting using the same server and the same ontology. And so this front window, this is a copy of Protege, which I will log in using my own ID as Redmond. And this second window, the one in the back, I'm going to log in as uh, one of my colleagues, Jennifer Vendetti. And so, um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to log into the Protege server. It's, um, it's a it's a machine on a virtual network here, and I'm going to log into it as myself. And there's an ontology in there, but I'm going to upload another one for this demonstration. So I'm going to upload a pizza ontology. And uh, so the pizza ontology is there, and I will open it. And so here's the pizza ontology, and I'll go to the classes tree, and often where I do stuff is on the cheesy pizza, so I go to cheesy pizza. Okay. So now I'm going to show so what I've just done is I've uploaded an ontology to the server and I have opened it in this client as myself as Redmond Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to log into the protege server as Jennifer and actually I've been here already so everything's set up I'm going to connect and you can see that the pizza ontology is showing there and um, so I will um, open the pizza ontology as, as Jennifer and um, I'll show, I'll see what history is associated with it. And the history is, well, so uh, this Redmond guy, uh, me, has um, uploaded the ontology. The change details are basically, these changes are basically the entire contents of the pizza ontology has been added. So, um, so that's all the history that we have at this point. So, um, now we will um, we will also set this on cheesy pizza so that we're ready to see what happens and um, we're going to turn on um, auto update now what auto update means is it means that um, periodically I think it's every 15 seconds um, Jennifer's copy of Protege will go to the server and say, are there any updates from the server? And then it will pull them over. Um, so, to demonstrate this, I will go over here and I will change the topping of a cheesy topping to a tomato topping. And, um, and I will commit the change. Well, this is clearly not the right topping for a cheesy pizza, so it's broken. So I commit the change, and I go back to Jennifer's copy, see? And so that happened quickly, because I just timed it so that it happened, but when I switched windows, it was cheesy pizza, and then it switched over. Now, it could be um, a few seconds before the update shows. In this case, uh, I happened to select this window right as it happened, and so you saw the change right away. And um, now if Jennifer shows the history, she sees um, the upload, the original upload, and then she sees this change, which is uh, two changes. She's, um, we've added this topping. So um, now I'm going to show, okay, so this shows that the two, um, the two guys interact, and in fact, um, Jennifer could interact back. and um, uh, server commit auto update doesn't imply submit so she fixed it um, I don't have auto update on so it's not going to update it could sit here for a long time it wouldn't do it but if I do an update there it is Okay, so now I'm going to show, so I've showed that the, um, the two users are interacting. If you turn on auto update, you see the interactions as they go. Now I'm going to show another capability of this, which is, um, I'm going to make a change here. Um, I'm going to change the interesting pizza to be a little bit more interesting. And instead of committing it this time, 
I'm going to leave it dirty. Now, unfortunately, this window doesn't have very good resizing, um, but what it's showing here, and, and hopefully I'll fix this before the uh, before the um, release, but what it's showing here is that it's added uh, um, interesting to five toppings, and it's removed the interesting as equivalent to just three toppings. And so this is, we're going to leave this dirty like this, and we're going to save this ontology. So I'm going to save this as, already FXML is fine, we go to uh, client and I go um, I call it Redmond just so that I know that this was something that I did under my own name and I um, saved this guy so now I've saved this ontology I can uh, quit protege over here so Tim has quit completely he's not doing any protege anymore it's gone um, and um, and now I can reload him. Now I could even do um, edits. Um, as a matter of fact, maybe I'll do one right now. I could even do edits with a, with a tool other than Protege. So I could go um, in an Emacs editor. Slash. And... Um, with I can just change the name of all the cheesy pizzas okay and um, so I do even in a command line tool I can come over here and I um, some other tool could be some other um, some other editor now I'm gonna open this I'm gonna make this window a little smaller going to open this as Redmond again. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to open it from here. I'm going to open this recent ontology, this guy. So he actually knows that he's he knows because I opened this on the file there's some extra di in information associated with the file. So he knows that this is associated with the server. And so if I go and I say, okay, what are the uncommitted changes? I have to log in. And um, so what it has is, let's see, it has the uh, interesting pizza changes that I made, the add and remove axiom. And then it has the, um, the axioms about cheesy pizza have been removed and been replaced with axioms about cheesy pizza Tim. That's what I did in the edit. And so what's happened is, is that the... Um, that even though I did the changes in a separate tool, I come back, it does the diffs off the baseline, and it knows that these are the changes to commit. And so I can commit these changes. So this save and reload could be on separate days. I could have done on Wednesday. I could have been working on the ontology. I save it and I close Protege and I come back on Thursday and I start editing and I say, okay, I can commit this and I commit this. Now, so if I go over here, Jennifer's already done the update. She sees the cheesy pizza Tim, the interesting pizzas, uh, more interesting. And um, so, uh, and um, we can look at the server history, show the change history. You see these are the changes after the save and reload. This window resizes a little better than the other one. Um, so um, you see the cheesy pizzas have been added. The interesting pizza has been we've removed the three toppings. And so um, so what this demonstrates is that, um, and Jennifer could save her copy too and work on it offline and online. Um, what this demonstrates is the uh, two different users can interact through the same server, accessing the same ontology. They can watch each other's updates as they happen. You can save your file um, to do work on it at a different time later. And um, I will come back for other demos of how this all works. Um, I thank you very much, and I will talk to you later.